Okay, here we go. We are going to continue with uh, Gideon Jorah. Oh, so I'll give it like a four star. I'll give it five star. Can I give it? No, actually, I'll just exit out. So we get to beat this guy. Oh, and there's like 50 points. Wow, so you can actually accumulate a lot of gold points. Um, accumulating gold points means... Oh, so it's like we're in jail now. Nice. We're a little kid and we're in jail because we wanted to get some food. Oh, we battle <laughs> training. Wow, this is a pretty advanced civilization. What the heck is this? Oh, no, 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 no. We need to go back. This is not correct. No, no, we definitely don't want to do training. So let's pause. Let's quit skill quest. And now let's try to go back to the main page. Oh yeah, so now, oh, so you can train mid game. Wow, that's weird. And here we go. So we're gonna go super aggro as usual. We have a very good hand. I feel like everyone has the same starting hand. And our opponent is red, interesting. I think that's Hickstis, the jail dude. And our planes will go super aggro and we'll attack him in for two. And there we go. So this is also going to be a relatively easy game, I'm assuming, of just attacking, attacking, attacking. So how was everyone's uh, pre-release? Do you guys have fun at Magic Origins? Are you excited? Um, Path to Exile is a promo, so that is very, very, that's awesome. That. And then next month, I believe in August, you get the $12 non-foil common. I, I don't even want to say the name because it just upsets me that there's a $12 common modern right now. And here we go. Um, I guess we play, yeah, we definitely want to play our bird just like our best card in this deck. So our deck's been upgraded, but I don't know how because this seems like the same deck. And let's attack. And if he attacks us back, we will not block and we'll just not block. Because I want to get this game done as fast as we can. And yeah, Magic Origins is kind of good. I'm excited for that new dragon. That new dragon fits my deck um, quite a bit. So he does block here. Uh, he loses his creature. And unlikely for him to have any bombs. Oh, nope, never mind. He has the same bird dude that we have so he'll wow so we're just going to trade off creatures and for two damage a turn which i mean we can win that way but it's not like ideal and what is this oh okay so that's pretty good not going to play that right now and yeah i could play that into the birds and then that would be good but why why should i do that I'm going to keep my same strategy of attack, attack, and trade creatures. And then I'll save the combat trick for a blowout. I want to have a little bit more creatures in play for the combat trick. And yep, yeah, there we go. That's a good exchange because you drop the 2-1 before he can drop any of his creatures. And that obviously only works out this way. So unless he plays something very good or like himself. Okay, a 2-2 is not a big deal. No, not a big deal. We'll keep playing our cards. And yeah. Oh, he dropped two. Wow. Okay, so that's kind of different. Um, yeah, that is definitely a good move for him. And we have birds again. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, I'll play my birds. And then I'll attack in for both. And here we go, attack, attack, and he'll probably double block, and I get birds for next turn. Oh, he blocks that way, huh? That is interesting. Oh, no, he just blocked one. I thought he double blocked. I was like, wow. So if we double block, that would have been like a nice combat trick. So are we going to win this game or not? Is he going to play like a very good card? Nope. Didn't play any cards. Good. Exactly the card I wanted. Now out we go. And 
Okay, what's going on? I want to play. Oh, continue. Like, I kind of don't like the continue part. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're playing our second phase. So, oh, yeah, we're just. Oh, it's a little confusing. But no, I'm not going to pump here because it doesn't matter. He would just trade with me anyway. And then in the turn, I'll play my little 2 2 dude. And I'll have enough damage to. No, I guess I don't want to pump because I can trade. And off it goes, another one. So yeah, good. We now have uh, six power and he's down to 10. And we have some, yeah, he's got a like, what could he possibly have in his hand that he's not playing right now? Ooh, two, four. Yeah, let's play our two, four. We can't kill him right now anyway. So we'll just play our two, four and get him down to four. That might, that is actually not the correct play because what happened was if I took him down to nine, then I have a flyer. Oh, so he has good cards. There's lightning strike. Uh, that would, yeah, so that's actually not terrible. Uh, lightning striking my flyer. Actually, yeah, it's, so it would have been bad had we played the glorious charge. But now it's a lot better. We can get him down to six with uh, six on the board. So unless he plays a card, we win. And even if he plays a creature, we can pump, and then we can get six damage in. Uh, assuming a creature can only block one card. Yeah, so we won the game. That's easy game. I hope the games get harder. This one is not really that difficult. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Heck yeah. Play another one. And then we go in for an attack. And that should finish him pretty easily. So that was chapter two. And huh, it was a very easy game. And I'm going to talk more about MTG finance and speculation and all that fun stuff. But I will have more magic video games uh, throughout the week. And I definitely want to go ahead and Oh, yeah, that is Warden Hixus. His deck kind of sucked. Oh, nice. We have 45 coins that I don't know what we would use. Someone in the comments, leave it below. Oh, deck upgrade. How do, do we get a better deck? Anyway, that's it.